got it. Got it. We're back in. Yeah. All right, man. I don't even know. I don't know where exactly we left off. Where did we leave off last time? Um, we. I think we might have been talking about the Z Santa Cruz Zoo. Oh yeah. Um. One pitcher. One pitcher. Yeah. Deers. But I did. I did remember. Remember we fucking. Uh, we went to the Rosicrucian uh, headquarters. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. got the. I've uh, pulled up the pics. Fucking. Oh, might cool. be a good place just to start or whatever. Yeah. Oh, the road. This is this is the most. The 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 rose garden is mm -hmm. by far my favorite thing in San Jose. Um, um, John McLaren, who did uh, Golden Gate Park. Oh yeah. <laughs> I walk around there, like you know, like I take people there sometimes that never been there, and, I, and I'll I'll just because a lot of people when they're there, they're just kind of like in their own world, looking at things and. Yeah. it's almost like like i go i wonder like how how i can get them out of their npc-ness you know what i mean mm -hmm. like how you know and i'll just like walk up to like people <laughs> or walk past them and i'll be like oh it's such a nice bloom this year huh and they'll like just look at me like oh you're not supposed to, we're supposed to do this in silence or something you know walk around here and then like every now and again someone will like be like oh yeah this is like uh this is a great bloom this year to be honest with you and then we get in a conversation it's kind of <laughs> i've done that like a couple of times where because a lot of those places I go, I'll go to, and uh, I'll be it's so weird that no, like there's no one talking, you know, and it's, and you know, just to see if, you know, just to see what they know, you know, even even when I go on like a like a hike out in the out where you know a couple miles out on a trail or something like that, you know, I always get I always go, oh, this is a, such a freak out that like people, you're in the middle of nowhere on a trail, you know, and and. Uh, you just walk by and you don't even say hi or hello, you know, just like, <laughs> so I'll always be like, oh, I'll be like, oh, hey. And they'll be like, oh, they're like, I'll throw them. I'll be like, oh, did you make it to the top? And they'll be like, oh, oh, not today. You know, this come up. My dog doesn't like to go to the top. You know, just say something funny, but it's always, I always, I always go, they must think I'm weird, but I'm like, I'm, I think it's weird that they didn't say hi. You know, we're out no, in the middle sure. of the <laughs> Dude, I always, I'll always say what's yeah. up or how's it going yeah. or whatever. You yeah, know? yeah. Every time, no matter what. Yeah, yeah you can't. Yeah, just gonna walk by someone in the middle yeah. of nowhere and like, fucking yeah, not even like yeah. <laughs> acknowledge. Fucking, yeah, yeah. You know? That's but that's like, fucking retarded. Like ninety percent, yeah, ninety percent of people will be out there just like tripping, like, and you'll just like they won't even say hello, and you're just like, oh, hey, what's going on? Did you make, you know, you'll say something. Is there anything up there that's cool? Did you know? Mm -hmm. And they'll like tell you what's up. You know, I just I always kind of do it just to like kind of like so I. Like, so at least they don't think I'm an NPC or something, you know? No, totally, dude. It's also <laughs> good just to, like, fucking yeah. engage and, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. See if this person isn't just a, uh, a hologram, you know? Fucking, right, 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 yeah. Kind of unfolding in front of me. <laughs> uh, did you did you end up uh, checking out the thing I sent you that's making it, making its way around the uh, internet where that guy comes out of, like, a portal? Like right. Which in the one was it? It was uh, that Mexican television station, and it's, like... Uh, they're they're doing an interview on this guy. Just the the uh, it kind of the uh, background kind of waffles into like kind of like a quantum leap kind of thing, and then mm -hmm. a guy like walks out of it, like nothing. Oh happened. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember and that. that, that and it's thing. making its way around the internet now, like a lot. And so, uh, but I always go, huh? That shook me a little bit. Like, how would they even do that on just like a newscast, like kind of thing, unless? Unless it was just meant, like, placed there by, you know, like, uh, people that were going to do that just to create, like, a buzz. But also just, like, oh, on the off chance, you know, maybe. <laughs> maybe this guy just walked right out of a freaking, like, portal. Like, nothing mm -hmm. happened. You know? like, and that's how people do it, you know? Yeah, just they can walk out of nowhere. <laughs> that's yeah, I mean, at least absolutely. how they do it on in the movies. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like. 51% fake, I think, you know, and then 49%, I'm like, yeah, that could happen, you know, like, people have some weird stories out there, you know. No, so, totally, I mean, I was thinking about this the other day, like, fucking, you know, I, I think most, like, you know, or at least, you know, our friends probably, like, her people we know, and probably people come across us think we're crazy, uh, you know, fuck, where's I just fucking going with this? What were... <laughs> <laughs> like walking out of a portal like that's exactly where that thought went right you know <laughs> just yeah I went, I went right out of a portal oh no i was gonna say 
fucking yeah. I'm probably more more uh skeptical and paranoid than just about anybody you know oh, but yeah. I'll at least look at it and be like well dude freaking honest yeah all right yeah, well, yeah let's see what's up African yeah, or not I'm freaking yeah I always reserve the right to be like okay you know and then also like oh. on the end I always, I always reserve the right to be like yeah for sure that's the case <laughs> you know what i mean like it's like you can't be one way or the other if you want to be like doing this you know you can't you totally. can't just be like oh, we all came from we all came from mars and saturn's wearing a hat you know and mm -hmm. uh pluto's cold and it's a dog star and blah 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 you know because that's like far out there stuff you know what i mean there's like there's just like yeah like i always go like oh yeah sure it can be all that i mean it's, yeah. it's way more interesting than politics you know mm -hmm. just being like oh, oh yeah you know yeah i mean anything about, is possible yeah you know like so i always kind of just go yeah so you know like did he walk out of a portal sure did he not and they faked it sure you know it's just like it's kind of like you know yeah what do you like you know that that kind of stuff like le le leads me always to just being like you know, if someone's going to think you're crazy for like talking about like, you know, Bruce Springsteen in the night stock, <laughs> you know, yeah. being writing partners for a couple of songs, you know, you know, totally. you're just, you're just going to be like, okay, like, yeah, but then again, nothing. yeah, yeah. Like, we've been looking for portals. Yeah. So, and they're out there oh, and they're out sure. there. And I, and I told you that story where like that Southwest airline just fell right out of the sky. Mm -hmm. I tell you that. Um, I don't remember. Uh, uh, tell it again. Just... Okay, so here, here's what's wild about it, because the story is just going to sound kind of like, are you sure? And I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm 100% positive. Like, it, this happened. I don't know if you know Rio Del Mar, right by the cement ship, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of houses are built on that cliff right there. In Aptos, Aptos California. In Aptos. For all and so there's a big there's a big hill that goes up and it's Rio Del Mar Boulevard. And there's like these apartment buildings that kind of block the view from where I was at the time. And then I was like, I was already up on a bluff, like doing something on a roof, like working or something. And I look and I just have this, like this sense of something like falling out of the fucking sky. <laughs> and I turn around and it's a Southwest airline, like, passenger airplane uh -huh, a big one literally falling out of the sky and then finally catches the air brakes and you can hear air brakes because they turn on right like wow oh. they just kind of do this like suction thing somehow catch itself reorient itself about 200 feet off the ocean and then shoot straight down from Rio Del Mar because you get a pretty good view from Rio Del Mar and it goes all the way mm -hmm. to the natural bridges and then natural bridges turns into like Davenport and it's gone at 200 feet off the like ground. Hmm. All right. So I go, wow, that was like super well for me to just witness that. Right. And mm -hmm. I know 100% it wasn't like, like a fiction of my imagination. Right. But I go, huh, I, no one's going to like believe the story. So I go down over to uh, like uh, the club right around the corner and I'm like, you know, like Seascape Golf Course there and they have a nice bar and they good food. So I go down there and I'm I'm talking to a guy that does uh, grading, right? And he's like, he plays like softball. I, I can't remember, Mike is his name. And I'm just going, oh man, like I just had weird thing. So tell me about it. And I go, oh, sure, no problem. I tell him about it. And he, and he, and he's like, I'm like, yeah, but there's no way you believe that happened. He's like, and he kind of just looks at me and he goes, I believe you. And here's the reason why. He's all, my brother, my brother does research on Aptos being a portal. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. This part but, I remember you talking but about. But this, this happens with everything, though. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Though, this is why it's so wild. This, like, the most wildest things that happen to you, if you just go ahead and just like tell someone, the synchronicity of them going, no, you, I believe you. And here's the reason why is like a family member of mine does research on like Aptos being a portal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And yeah. so then you go, well, the portal. And then that's when you start like looking up like, well, what, what did the, say like, what did the Native American, like you mm -hmm. start like, 
have to say about um, Aptos, right? And it turns mm -hmm. out that Aptos was like a meeting place for the two tribes of Santa Cruz area. And Aptos itself, the name of Aptos means two rivers that meet, but it also translates into like two people that meet. Huh. So it's wild, right? And so, and then you kind of just, if you just kind of like start putting your nose to, uh, well, this is so crazy. You have like these developers that wanted to flood all of Rio Del Mar and make it into Venice. That's oh, all yeah. those all those streets down there are made to be flooded and turned into like a Venice type like sea uh, like sea resort kind of like and you just gondola around and just act like you're in Venice. You know what I mean? And some yeah. of those buildings down there are built like ships. They're just built like ships. So they were planning. They were planning on flooding yeah, yeah. the two rivers, and then you brought up like uh, the odd wow, fellows, right? That. Yeah. So yeah. here's even like so. Then they have the cement ship there, right? And it's just it's totally destroyed now. It mm -hmm. almost looks like something out of like Planet of the Apes. Like ah, oh, they destroyed. You know, like that whole thing where he, like he sees the uh, um, uh, the uh, yeah, there it is. And then you know that whole thing is destroyed now. And you brought up the odd fellows, and the odd fellows used to like have a lot to do with that ship where it used to have like a carnival and it was all like, it, this used to be nice when I was a kid, you could walk all the way out. There was a blowhole, the whole nine yards, you can walk out there. And apparently that was where the odd fellows would hold some of their, like their gatherings um, and dances and just, yeah. This the odd are coming. yeah so it's all very, find some very strange things. history though, because it's like, it's all very strange history. Because this is like something that like you and me have seen be completely destroyed over our lifetime. Totally. And and they just let it go because Absolutely. there was no one there to do anything to like do anything. You know what I mean? It used to be like a nice little like place out there, a casino type thing. So what are you going to do? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Like this dude has it figured out right here. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. And there's a ton of sharks out there now that no one, there? no one knew that, like, yeah, no one knew how many sharks were there. Um, and now, like, with, like, um, with drones that they fly over and take, you can just see uh -huh. the shadows of, like, 16, 20-foot sharks. Shut the it's fuck up, weird. yeah. Huh? That's crazy. Yeah. And, like, if you go, if you go sit on New Brighton Beach right there, which is per personally... New Brighton Beach is like one of my favorite beaches. Yeah. Dude, like they'll so have a bunch cool of those, like, yeah, they'll have those uh, stand up paddle surfer dudes. Mm -hmm. And like every time, if you sit there long, every time, man, like you'll see these guys just paddling, like paddling, like they just seem like a fucking 20 foot <laughs> fucking great <laughs> surf, dude. And really? so they'll get up on shore and they'll jump off and they'll kick their things up and they'll be like, oh, dude, I just got bumped by a 20 foot shark out there, blah, 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 blah. And you're just like, oh, well, what are you doing out there, guys? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, holy shit yeah yeah you know, it's pretty crazy it's a it's a shark breeding ground now and i don't know what that's from maybe the the warmer or colder waters that, that people are saying all the time you know apparently oh. the tuna are closer people are catching like pretty pretty massive um pretty massive fish out there it's an interesting spot for sure because there used to be an airport right there and then all those eucalyptus trees appeared and they made like uh, a cathedral eucalyptus trees you know um see look at that shit <laughs> that's fucking crazy uh -huh. that, on they and they have all they have the explorer neighborhood up there they're named that because you know no big deal but like they, they named the explorer thing and it used to be an airport and there used to be like a real camp capitola up there mm -hmm. uh, depot hill was like all, but all that stuff was moved from like other places in California to put there, dude. That's what's, oh, uh, that's what's so, that's what's so wild about Capitola is that it has the name Capitola, which I don't know, translates to the capital, right? Totally. But also if you read the history of Capitola, Capitola was gifted by a guy named Rispin to the like mm -hmm. villagers. Hmm. It's really weird stuff, man. And then, um, yeah, look, look up Rispin Mansion. It's right on Wharf Road right there. 
It used to be like the monastery. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the large, yeah. There it it's is. really wild. And if you just read that, watch. It, it'll say that there like. You, read it. Let me, uh, I got to stand. Okay. The Rispin Mansion is a historic mansion on the Natural Register Historic Places located in Capitol California. The building was constructed in 1921 by San Francisco Henry Allen Rispin. It was built, let me see, 22. I've actually been in there because um, it was kind of like a right next to a house growing up. It's, it doesn't seem like it's 7,000 square feet, but whatever. Um, various history. I can't move it, let's see. Um, Great Depression. He lost his fortune during the Great Depression and was forced to sell the mansion 10 years after it established. The, uh, the property was sent to foreclosure, da, 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 something Hayes, Robert Hayes Smith. It was, da, 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 da. come on, naturalist there. Yeah, so anyways, he, this guy gifted the whole town of Capitola to the, to the villagers. Rispin did. Yeah. I don't know how much history okay, yeah. is right now. In the they've been planning, they've been planning and planning and planning to do something with it. Some uh, I've been I've, I've actually been in there when I was a kid. You know, I grew up like right over there, like um, really close to the Shadowbrook. And uh, but yeah, and like but all everything about Capitola was moved there. Depot Hill, all the all those all those houses on top of Depot Hill right there were all moved there from other places in, from the state of Cal in California. They're not, they were all just moved there, put there. And something else about it is, oh yeah. And something else about that little Depot Hill area right there is you have that, uh, you have that jetty that they made there. And then that hill has a, like you, met, you ever see that picture I posted on my like Instagram about that door just going into the side of the mountain? It's all bricked up. Well, anyway, there's a brick door there with a sign that says no parking on it. And there used to be a theater there, if you remember. And apparently the big rumors when we were kids was that like there was tunnels that led from like the mansion all the way to the theater. But that theater used to be connected to the largest resort on the West Coast of America was Capitola right there. And, uh, and uh, what's that? Oh yeah, and so so we're apparently that the uh, the resort burned down, of course, right? You know, just in time. Oh yeah, is that Stockton Avenue? And look at look at yeah, that's the wharf. But if you look, if you can get it low and you turn back, you can like see that. Oh yeah, there's something to do with like the begonias and stuff, like. Um, Begonias represent something like major, and that's why they used to have the Begonia Festival there. And they used to have a, all the Begonias would be sold. There's crazy history, right? Just right there about that. There's the train. Thing. Historic Venetians. It's the old Italians. Are you muted? Hey, you're muted. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, no, the theater is right here. Yeah. Right there where that parking lot is right now. And if you go down to that parking lot, maybe we can see that door that goes right into the hillside. So they tore down the Capitol Theater, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they did. And they put Dude, like that a place was sick. Farms restaurant. Yeah. Yep. Right there and against that hill. All those houses... All those houses on that hill were moved there. You can see the door right there. It's right there in that parking lot. If you go down into that parking lot, you swoop down to that right parking here. lot. Right here. Yeah. But all right all these houses. Yeah. Place and dude, these houses are fucking crazy up there too. Dude, yeah. Didn't we, do the root, didn't we do the yeah, route? Didn't we do the route Like yeah. on this place or something? Yeah. There's like right there is where that, that red roof right there. <laughs> there's our roof, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. All right, all right. But that piece probably is crazy, right? 
Look at yeah, it. look at that. Yeah, Falcon right there and stuff. It's on by construction with the sounds there. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, there's those steps right there too. Yeah. There's steps everywhere. See, there's that right next to if you get down you can just point it. Can you get ground level? Yeah. Pin your little guy down there. Oh, at least I can't over. Mm. Well, anyways, yeah. oh, there it goes. Killer. Yeah. There's the steps right there. If you just move it, there it is right there. Right there. Over more to the right. Yeah. Over more. Right there. This Look thing? at all this stuff. This old cement. Yeah. If you go right around that corner, I should have just taken a picture of it. Yeah, dude. Uh, next time. Oh, right around this corner right here. Yeah. Let me, I'll try to say, can you get things off of uh, Instagram? Um, yeah, I'll just like screenshot it or some shit. Yeah, I'll screenshot and, uh, it to you. I'll just, yeah. And here's this. Um, I'll just send this to you. Um, done, boom. It'll just look like this to you. There it is. I just sent it to you. Yeah, well, there's a behind all that ivy, there's like this brick door with the arch on it, and it's just wild. It's wild because no, like people, and then it's like, once again, it's like one of those things that like people just walk right past and won't even think another thing about it. You know what I mean? And that apparently goes into what? The side of the mountain? Yeah. And that jetty. I like Capitola though, man, to be honest with you. Yeah, where the jetty is almost like, was it a star for it? Could it be? There's that staircase that goes up there. It's wild. And the, stair the staircase. Oh, you're muted again. Fucking guy. What an idiot. Yeah, so this thing just goes into the side of the hill here. Yeah. But, but from like local legend, there's tunnels. There's tunnels that lead from the Rispin Mansion to that area right there. Okay. That's all been buried. And then you have the where's the uh, where's the Rispin Mansion from here? Uh, Wharf Road. So if you go across. Oh, back to the other side. Yeah, yeah there it is. You just passed it. It's just so funny. Right. One of these Creek. ones. Yeah, if you go up to SoCal Creek right there. Oh, okay. Oh, right here on the. Fucking... That's Wharf Road. But then if you go, if you just go up SoCal Creek. Which one was SoCal Creek? The the creek. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, they're moving out of that. Oh, right place. here. Yeah, but you go the other oh, way. The other way, other way. Yeah. And there's a there's a whole like that whole village is so crazy, man. You just go up the creek, you just keep on going. You'll see it as soon as you get there. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep on going. Boom. Right there. There it is. Where to right the here? Inlet. Yeah, where our oh, right gets here. really busy. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, you just go right down there, and then that's the old folks' home, and then just right there. I wonder one. where they have it all blocked off. Right there, see, see, that's a right next to it, and then you go down, and there's a. They have it all kind of like zoned out and blocked off. I wonder what what it looks like from oh, there. Oh, down here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's up? I mean, this pixelate is fucking shit, dude. Yeah, more shit they are fucking yeah. randomly hiding. Yeah, it is weird, huh? You can't see it from the sky. Type it in. Maybe that. Maybe you just type it in. Oh yeah. Like you did that one time. That usually works. There it is. Nothing. What? Something went wrong. Something went wrong. They probably got a, like a swastika up there or something like that. You know. <laughs> right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, they said they gave it to the nuns, and the nuns can't. The nuns couldn't really handle it. So there's tunnels from here. Yeah. From this this zone, like here. Right where that where it says SoCal Creek. That's that you can see the top of the Richmond Mansion right there. Right here. Yeah. You see Claire's St. Claire's. Oh yeah, the, I, dude, I remember this whole gate. Yeah. And and shit. They used to have they used to have like lions, and everything's been chipped away and That's... taken away. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah. Now I know what uh, we're talking about. Yeah. But so where did they build yeah, it? On be to, you can walk yeah. down there and shit, right? Or oh, yeah. no, it was always, you had to hop the fence. Yeah. Apparently this guy owned all of Capitola and it just seems like if you owned all of Capitola, why would you build on a shitty riverbank? There it is. There it is. Yeah. That crazy pond. Yeah. That was really cool when we were kids. There was still, a, there was a lot more brick laid out and then the walls really like old school. And uh, we used to be able to go in there when we were kids. And we'd, it would be like, you know, the neighborhood kids would get all get together on our like little dumb bikes and go down there. It was only really like a minute away from where I grew up. And we'd uh, totally we'd park our bikes and be like, you go, ha, you go, ha. And then, you know, yeah, we'd, we'd end up getting like slingshots. We were like, it was a real Goonies experience. You know what I mean? Totally. And then there's the door. There's like a weird door right here. And it just sits there and no one says anything. No one thinks um, anything. This it's, door here? Yeah. Yeah, we just cruise by. Yeah. And no one says anything. No one thinks. It's just like, oh, look at this door. And it's all chipped away with old cement. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like they make it look like really crummy. Yeah, but really I don't cool. remember it being painted all white either. I remember it, it was all just cement. Like, yeah. And then it's there's probably a, just cemented over stone. But. This meeting is being recorded. Got it. Man, All right, get man. back. We're back. Get back onto this. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this... so, like basically, I guess like um, it's kind of strange that like you know like talking about talking about how do you tie all this into Tartary, right? Yeah. And uh, I guess like. I would I would say that you know even from looking at those amazing pictures and the architecture that's out there, uh, a lot of stuff that would have like tied both worlds, like the modern to like the old world, has been burned down and like sold and given and deeded all over the freaking place you know what i mean so totally. it's, it's so hard to to actually go okay cool i guess you know because once you get gifted a town in one way or another you're right. like, oh, yeah not the end of the story there guys like uh go ahead raise your families and do the whole thing right you know yeah i mean so, exactly you're just like over it at that point which brings me to uh since we're since we have this though going is it's, also, it's fully abandoned huh? still like there's just nothing yeah in there. they can't they can't figure out what's going on they, yeah they can't figure out how to do it like they uh -huh. you know there's been a lot of builders with like the uh, humongous budgets the last you know they built like this library across the street for like 20 million dollars dude uh -huh. and i guess what they wanted to turn the wrist bin thing into is like kind of like a upscale kind of uh, thing where it's like a bed and breakfast. I guess it has, I don't know. It says it has like seven rooms or something. I don't know, but it just, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even like really make any fucking sense to like turn that into, and I kind of get it, but you know, the builder, the builder probably just wants it as like some kind of like, uh, you know, people like that kind of stuff for pawn pieces you know what i mean anyways like totally. we got this man and we can like dig in somehow but there's like there's other stuff like that in santa cruz right totally. i mean i mean from like from the shamanah that was abandoned to like what it is now i think that's that i think that's what they were kind of aiming but it's like such a yeah this trying to get shamanah by yeah and this is like, but to me, it's like, this is such a crummy piece of property to build like your house on because it's on a cliff. Mm -hmm. Unless you have tunnels already, tunnels that get you all the way down there. So it was built there for one reason or another with tunnels, you know. Do you know anyone who's got, found the tunnels or you, is there anything yeah, out there? Yeah, so, so yeah, like a lot of the back back when the neighbor you know a lot of like you know there'll be like 
oh my, uh, yeah, the stories would be just like kids being like, oh, my cousin went through there and he said it was, he said it was like all, the, you know, you know that. Yeah, and totally. Then, oh, there's, if you can get down to the, cause I guess it goes really deep too. There's not just like the three stories. Uh huh. Right there, but the, it also goes really like more stories lower. But we were just always like, you know, like, oh, someone would say something like, and we'd all run out like kids, you know, but, but the thing is, is they have like, they see, this is like my wild, my wild, wild theory of like, look how many like eucalyptus trees have just grown there. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's whenever I, whenever I see eucalyptus trees, people go, what are your problem with eucalyptus trees? And I will, from like an arborist point of view, I go, they, they're like the ultimate predator for other, for other plants they all compete they're well, not native species. to california and you know species. what i mean and if you like if you look back to like who brought these eucalyptus trees to california the history behind that's in itself kind of like interesting yeah and the time uh, frame too in the time frame so when you see eucalyptus trees they're like out competing for the the natural resources of like the the things that mm -hmm. whatever whatever mineral that because they don't grow like that other places they grow they grow in the northern hemisphere or this part of the world just like the redwoods mm -hmm. they just grow big you know and they grow they grow really fast they just out compete and then their acorns out compete everything else yeah i mean if you needed to, like yeah if you needed to create a forest over something that you wanted to hide they'd be if you're burying something <laughs> they'd be perfect you just put the, and then the roots will destroy whatever foundation and all this good and they're everywhere everywhere like that you would think they're they're there to bury and destroy whatever was there before totally it's fully manipulated um forests man-made yeah. man-made cover <laughs> They're just sucking up all the resources, eucalyptus trees. And I know there's like health benefits of eucalyptus and for breathing and all that and all that. And I dig that, but it's, but it's, it's a non-native plant to California. Yeah. And well, what they what found, like. what they found, well, in Australia, it's a really good hardwood, but yeah. those are like, those are old, a much older trees. So when they brought them over here and they grew, the wood was just way too hard and gnarled to even use. So they couldn't even use it as a hardwood. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't even imagine that like the oil that you get from these isn't as good as the ones you get as you get from Australian grown or whatever, you know. I think, you know? The, I, think the, I think the benefits come from the leaves as far as the respiratory stuff mm -hmm. and the, and the story is kind of like wacky. They're like, oh, oh we just want to, we want to bring this tree here Oops. So, that can, so that we can make like um, railroad ties with it. And like, okay, fair enough. I mean, I guess mm -hmm. that makes sense in a sense. But then it just totally, they, but they knew from like the first grove of eucalyptus trees that like it was never going to be the case. Yeah, totally. You know but what they I mean? Still, all, yeah. Yeah. So then, when yeah. So I just, I, when I, and that's kind of like one of those things when you pointed out to like people about eucalyptus trees and stuff that are like non-native to the area, you know, and, and, and Australia is like for, for as good as the people they are, they've destroyed Australia with everything they've tried to like introduce. Oh man, over and over again, they just crushed I mean, them. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like they're it's kind of like their folly in a way. Is that like, oh, well, we'll bring rabbits, and then it's just like, <laughs> now we got, now we got to kill them all, <laughs> you know. So and then or or whatever or ox, they bring ox there, and the ox turn into like some wild animal. Um, pigs, pigs here, pigs are not native, and quite honestly, there's like a lot of, a lot to the whole bring because pork is delicious. And they they map they uh they have a lot of they, dude there's they're just a problem for the agriculture and everywhere they go so they're like 
they're just like set up for slaughter, right? Because their totally. gestation <laughs> periods are like so quick. But also, also the amount of like manipulation that a pig's gone. If you, it's like the same thing as like if you've never drank an alcohol before and you give it to like a wild Indian or something like that. They don't have, they, you know, it's not part of their, their microbiome. So then right. they just become like freaking like Asian people still have that problem. The enzyme doesn't break down. And so they get really red, you know, yep. Asian folks. Um, this, this talks about here how the eucalyptus came to California, you know, to, mm-hmm. uh, during the gold rush, you know, which is like, you know, convenient right. timing in our, in yeah. our fucking pursuit of his story. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely just planning for us, planning everything. Yeah. There's a hill. Um, well, there's point, we have Point Pinole here and it's old dynamite factory covered in eucalyptus grove. And then they yeah. move that factory to this hill in El Cerrito that um, is completely covered with eucalyptus, completely covered. Right. So it's, it's there to burn, burn out whatever resource was there, like, you know. And like, and like I was saying about the La Viega up there where the zoo was, it's all eucalyptus trees. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, 100%. And, was, and, you know, they, the minerals and stuff that they found there, they just, you know, the trees grow along, along uh, Wilder and all these places, you know, it's just the potentially that, that particular tree is going to replace all this other stuff. So I don't, I mean, if you're not careful, I suppose. I mean, I've seen them take those things down and they don't grow back, but it's got to be like a hassle. You know what I mean? Oh, dude. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. And especially, like, how do you look at all this wood? You know what I mean? It's like that you would have like redwoods and oaks that grow naturally. You know, oak seems to be like the forgotten wood that is re- uh, reusable. You know, oak's a way better fuel, anyways. Yeah, I mean, it's a good a good hardwood. Yeah, it's a, you can turn it into pallets and just, you know. But what, Oh, that's a Shamanad. Yeah. So that was a, that, uh, so that was a, that was a boys school, they said. Uh-huh. And uh, this was. <laughs> yeah. So, and once again, tons of eucalyptus trees as you're going up there. Yeah. Well, I remember growing up in Santa Cruz and like, you know, well, you, your parents were, uh, my parents moved to Santa Cruz when I was like three, so they didn't have much history, but you guys, and you guys were in Capitola, like, and I remember hearing even as a kid that before the Capitola mall was there, it was just, uh, farms and fields. Like so that was, that all was all the, the way. Begonia. Let me like, Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So there's something that ties the Roja Krishna and the begonia and all that. Let me look it up real quick. Okay, yeah. Uh, and I'll find uh, this fucking so mall. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'll just look at Capitol. Oh, yeah, that's far. Oh, so, we were right here. It's right, yeah, we were, fucking, we were just here. <laughs> like fucking zooming around. There's, there's the old mall. Yeah. I'm just trying to find like I'm just like get pulling it up on my phone. There it is. Capitola holds tribute to the Begonia Festival. Which is actually which is a nice festival, right? It's definitely on the upscale. Uh, history it isn't this stuff they don't like, ever want to bring it up you know what I mean they go you have to like really kind of search for it totally uh, 1950s uh coincided with the capital of water fantasy carnival which I didn't know just to read it right now which was founded in the capital's first female councilman Peggy Schlater Matthews and boats right. so let me just see Way off. Okay, 
was looking for this fucking uh um uh, what's the name of the fucking uh the house that uh me, Ray, a bunch of us a bunch of people all lived at. Oh, the farm? The farm, yeah, that's right. Yeah, off Chanticleer. Yeah. I lived there too. That was like a that's funny. That was like okay, a here's idea. Chanticleer. Here you go. Okay, there's a few ways to go out the way. I was like, yeah, here's, here's, here's Ivy Lane oh, Farm. Kind of ties in. So this is what it looked like at one at one point. Yeah, and that farm Suppo is like supposedly. And then you have then you but you also have like the uh, eucalyptus. Totally. That house was haunted as fuck. Oh yeah, sleep paralysis, <laughs> dude. Fuck. I have so many fucking ghost stories from there. Anyways, uh, that was a little sidetrack. Um, yeah, well, no, I, I go back to the thing about the we we're talking about the mall. Oh yeah, so th that was all like dairy farms back there. It was all uh, it was very the Begonia Festival. Oh yeah, the Begonia like well the Begonia represent like I thought it had something to do with like uh, something about uh, I guess it just symbolizes paying someone back for a favor, uh, which okay. would just tie into like well we're just gonna we're gonna. The Rispin guy died. Well, the guy, the, the Rispin guy, I guess he went into uh, this, the the story is like okay, so like he was like this really successful businessman during during yeah. like uh, during the early 1900s, mm -hmm. like 1906, that period where he made a ton of money in like newspaper or something, and then he uh, he just uh, it's something about the the Great Depression, like made him go crazy and he lost all his fortunes and it's just a wild story it almost seems like it's just like yeah that's what you can say about everything you know what i mean totally i'm sure like you know in <clears throat> there you go but yeah the begonia the begonia gardens that was all begonia i have to look more into it because i can't remember i just hear people talk to me sometimes about stuff like that and i just go i just kind of like go oh, that's that's fantastic you know yeah <laughs> you know and then i just don't remember it and then and then i try to like think but what's that is that a golf course that oh that's this that's the uh new brand beach right there yeah that's almost like a golf course from like that angle. yeah look at that mm -hmm. it's really beautiful there man yeah it's it's sure. amazing yeah it's so like yeah like like but like here's the thing but tying it back into you know like the, the backyard the backyard hikes and whatever this thing is but like you know like is have you ever been to fort bragg yeah what, what, did you go to the glass beach oh yeah totally okay so you know their their story is that you know there was this glass beach and everyone just threw garbage like right into the ocean and just like yada 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 right yeah ridiculous yeah it's, I think there was like three thousand. I think there was like three thousand people at the max that lived there during the period of time. I think it fluctuated from like a thousand to three thousand back during that period of time. And then you're gonna tell me that all like this is this, this is the point I'm trying to get at is that like if we took like if we took right now and you looked up Glass Palace, right? Mm -hmm. And you like look at it and you just go, wow, this is a, this is amazing, right? And you just go to any of these glass palaces, even the biggest one, the biggest one in the world, you look at it, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever one it is. They say that they've, they've moved the biggest glass palace in the world before, right? Like they mm -hmm. say, oh, we did it one time. You know, and then we just did this glass palace. See, there it is, right? Crystal they say palace. They yeah, Crystal Palace. They said they've moved that. 
This one they did? Yeah, something. There's a there's a little side note that they moved it from like some kind of like one of the first world fairs sort of thing. Uh, you know? Okay. Yeah, they, yeah, like um yeah, Crystal Palace. They moved it or something like that. A rebuilt. And yeah, they just moved okay. it or something. 1851. It was the Great Expedition, 1851, right? Because yeah. we, always, we always talk about like the Chicago. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. After the exposition, yeah. the palace is relocated to area in South London, which right. is like Crystal Palace where it's now today. Yeah, yeah. Right, no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. Right, okay. It's a paragraph, <laughs> a paragraph on Wiki. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, maybe they mention it down here again. Yeah. The construction. Yeah. <laughs> at the construction there's a picture just of the interior right and then a picture of the tree inside of it there's right. Right. no picture yeah. of the construction yeah so <laughs> so all good relocation right? like, we yeah moved, we've moved one of the seventh wonders of the world right yeah no big deal here it is after they moved it yeah oh yeah no big deal all that metal came apart like legos and all the windows were numbered, probably. Mm. And it was all good. It's, well, there's no one even here. Yeah. Yeah. It's all ghost town. <laughs> oh, there's there a couple people. people. Look at them. Are you enjoying yourself? That's what they're saying to each other. <laughs> oh, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, what do you think of the exhibit? But it's amazing, right? Yeah, I mean it's it's amazing, insane. So when when I when you're like in Fort Bragg, there's when you're in Fort Bragg, it's like the, it's like the same thing as like if like you're in Capitola, right? It's a small town. Capitola's bigger, of course. Mm -hmm. It's more desirable. Beach is warmer. The weather's better. But then you go to this glass beach, right? <laughs> and you're sitting there, and you're still like thinking to yourself. Oh my gosh! Look at all this glass, and they threw it all into the they threw it all into the bay. And where's all the trash? Or like you know, there's the, the ecosystem looks like it's no big deal. Like you know, it's recovered, which I believe that like ocean can recover fast. But this glass is never fucking ending, dude. It's, and yeah, people go there and they just they pick at it. And there's if you in the price the prices of the glass are astronomical right is it oh dude like yeah. for a pink look at this for, yeah yeah for so there's like there's orange there's orange glass that's worth like quite a bit i, I kind of like just poked around and like thought about like oh what are the most expensive glasses right mm -hmm. all that if, if that whatever what from the what i've seen um glass goes for she has about like 10 grand of glass in her hand right now. Oh, you're muted. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, you're coughing. Yeah. yeah. So from what, like, you look at, like, you know, it's like, oh, she has about 10 grand worth of glass in her hand, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's just as good as gold, right? Dude, if yeah, you can that's... actually get that money in paper, right? Yeah, let's go to Fort Bragg. From, like, trash, right? But then if you go yeah. to Fort Bragg... Oh, that's a painting. <laughs> that's a oh, painting. Well. <laughs> nice, no, nice, very it's not nice. Too far off, right? No, it's not too far. I mean, off. it's great. It's such a trip being there. Yeah, but if you but if you go to Fort Bragg and you go, oh, this is just, and if you just go in the car and you just drive through Fort Bragg and you go down there and you're like, I, I guess I'm trying to set up a scenario of saying that like. If you ask like a local there, like, hey, what do the locals do? And I've actually done this when I've been there. And mm -hmm. they're like, they kind of like look at you and they go, is there, and he goes, is there a swimming hole anywhere? Da, 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 da. And they're like, oh, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, and you, you know, you kind of just, they're like kind of hesitant because they, you know, it's the locals only kind of vibe, which I can totally get behind. Yeah. You know, but anyways, oh. if you like, if you sit there and go, yeah, I'm from Santa Cruz, I know that, you know, we're, you kind of just use California lingo, you know, Sooner or later, they'll be like, oh, yeah, there's a place up in the in the hills, right? And then up in the hills, there's this old abandoned swimming pool that the story is that the high school used to use this old abandoned swimming pool. Maybe type that Fort Bragg old abandoned swimming hole, swimming pool. 
And they said that they used to go up there and this, it was like an Olympic style swimming pool up in the hills. Okay. Huh? Yeah. You haven't been up there or no? You've I've been, been there. The, oh, you have, you've been to the pool. I've been there. Yeah. And it's, and it's, and it's a track and you have to go, you have to go through dirt roads and you have to go up and through and all this stuff, you know, but it's an abandoned one. Oh yeah. Is there still water in it and shit? Uh-huh. It's, it's a cool place. Alligators? No, it's a cool place. I mean, I mean, people go there and they nude in the nude and stuff. It's 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 Northern California people, you know. So it's like they go there. Oh, there it is. No, no, no. It's it's, it's an old high school swimming pool that they say. Oh, okay. But the river goes through it. Oh, okay. That's pretty tight. Yeah. So anyways, but it's like, but the cement, if we're looking at old cement, which we all you know, if you go to the Palace of Fine Arts, right? You're mm -hmm. like, you look at the cement, you see the difference and stuff like that, right? But mm -hmm. up there, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, and it's way off in the hills. It's kind of, it's really, it might be like, like in a different area. Well, my point being is this, is that like, it, there's a river that goes through it there might have been at one point like a glass building up there that was so massively huge right I, I, i'm okay. picking up what you're putting down okay that like they just destroyed for no freaking reason except to like the history right to hide and as much as it is believable and unbelievable that like people would just go to fort bragg and just throw a ton of trash every single weekend what do you like, you know you're down there you know you're talking oh what do you got going on this weekend Bob I'm like ah, you know just, just gotta throw all this glass out in the ocean real quick and I'll be back what you want to do that softball thing we still do a softball <laughs> just gotta go throw all this trash in the ocean real quick yeah I got I've got a bunch of bottles of rolling <laughs> yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah. I've been that's just, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying for a month I'm gonna toss them on the beach yeah yeah you know like where am I gonna put all this trash throw it in the ocean guy like just get back we're gonna the burgers are almost ready I'm on my yeah. way you know you know it's unbelievable that's an order, officer. Yeah, <laughs> which is funny because like a, a general, the the reason Fort Bragg was founded by a general, like so. There you go. That's the yeah, right. That's the overall story, but and and not to mention that they were throwing all this different color glass because you know, you know, back in the day, you you see like blue glass, right? Mm -hmm. you, you see maybe green glass, red glass, all this, but. The glass apparently, is a lot thicker and like better too. It seems like. Well, apparently, the the theory is that like there was a humongous glass palace that would rival the Crystal Palace. There, this is like local legend bullshit mm -hmm. that might might actually you know other people have come up with and they talk about it. Interesting. So, yeah, no, and then you know how currents work. You know, like whatever river it went flowing down, and then it, the current would just carry it to like maybe that beach and distribute it somewhere else. Like you know, that's how currents work. It hits a reef and then it gets pushed up there by the waves, and it's just it's never ending. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. There was like you know, and like just think if you took that glass palace that they built in 1851 and then moved and rebuilt it again, right? Yeah. They, they said they said fuck it, let's just throw it in a fucking the ocean. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah. I mean, uh, we should have looked at uh, how I still got it up. Um, how many window? Uh, glass? How much glass was actually in that thing? Uh, the glass palace. Yeah. I'm sure it says somewhere. Yeah. And they manufactured it. They, you know, they did all the things. Totally. You know. It would. You could fill up a beach with it. For sure, it's a, it's a long story short. It would be like never ending, right? But yeah, I mean, um, those pictures, like those huge ass glass panes. Twenty eight thousand sure. square feet, by the way. <laughs> Gigantic. Yeah. You know, and they probably had statues that they like. They've moved and the whole thing. Uh, but every 
but just us doing like the backyard like overhand look thing seeing like the wristband and the the story this is like all these towns you go to man you know this is like mare island this is like south san jose this is the only almadan yeah these are the missions being moved from one place to another yeah and like most people will just probably just like think in their head like oh no big deal they moved a mission <laughs> like four or five miles away or they just put it this way and that way they you know so they don't really care about they don't really care about the accuracy of like it that much if they're moving it right yeah just as nine hundred thousand square feet of glass wow (laughs) yeah it'd be never ending i mean yeah and that's just that and that's just one colored glass now if you like think about like a cathedral or something that had like all that stained glass like you know if you look at it Mm -hmm. that's what i'm saying the glasses that is like on the out, glass beach on the glass beach is that like totally. it was it was like i could see that yeah and if you like if you get into like sound theory and glass reflectation of like sound and just harmonies and stuff that you can like create with like reflective like glass um you know just from like your own little experiments you know totally. and like with like what they're doing now with like um that they point lasers at at glass windows and they can hear every conversation that you're having in any building this is like this is science like right and I, it's like spy science and all this so they just have to point a laser at a window and then like the reflective sound of the window the laser somehow can like transport whatever you were talking about inside any of those glass buildings pretty accurately mm-hmm. So, wonder yeah. if the crystal. Wonder if it was just right here on the coast. That's why it's. All I mean, right there dude. Too. I mean, look at what we will just look what the name of the beaches or the the roads. I think the roads are pretty telling, actually. To be honest with you. Yeah, Noyo Point. Noyo Business Fool. <laughs> That's classic. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Here's the Dynamite Shack. Oh yeah. It's probably Best Burgers in oh, Fort yeah. Bragg. Yeah. Oh no, it's actually. No, but look, look how this thing's all shaped up. See, look, just see how it's all shaped up around there. Like there was totally. something. I mean, it's it, there's you know? big time, and plus, like, so is this the uh, all, all the uh, abandoned Fort Bragg military stuff is probably on top, possibly on top of like all the abandoned Crystal Palace shit. Yeah, I mean, like all this. I mean, dude, maybe this whole thing it was what the Crystal Palace was. Well, it could be. I mean, it's, it's it kind of goes under the same thing of like <laughs> why like Lighthouse Park. They can never do anything there. They just keep it all. You know, they've had plans over and over and over again to like uh, build something there, but they go, oh hey, don't build. You can't build anything there. But you know, which is fine. With, like, which is fine in itself. Like, don't build anything here. But like, it, the reason is just not like a fully formed reason you know you know when you someone tells you a fully formed reason you're just like okay cool but then you know look at it it could be like it could fit there they just destroyed it and that was the end of it right some oh. uh, not ancient but you know because fort bragg really is if you like look at it like where it is if you if you pan out to where it is in california like if you go up higher, there you go. And you get to the whole look of where California, the whole shape of the California thing is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Let me get us orientated. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And it's like right there. And so yeah, four four brag is right there. Yeah. It is it is really oh. it is really like old world as far as like that's where Russian the Russians were like of what for sure the russians were oriented or like that was like the part of their empire definitely here's then, albion, we, albion which is always yeah. found interesting and yeah fort ross and if we had, yeah is down here just to keep on the russian tip yeah according to the narrative fort ross here is like the furthest south point look at that look at that uh, 
of the Russian Russian Empire or furthest point of the Russians in California. So they right. say. Yeah, and, and I can, I can buy that. Yeah, and regardless, you know, regardless, that's still um, almost to San Francisco Bay Area. I right. mean, you know, that puts Fort Bragg in that zone, anyways. Right in that zone, and we and so, say that <laughs> say Russia wasn't called Russia, but it was called Tartaria. Exactly, you which know. it was, yes. which it was called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know that. Every, you know, exactly. Yeah. Anytime they say something from Russia, pre, you know, fucking right. 1900, right. you can can just might as well call it Tartaria. Yeah, and the Noya River there is huge, man. So you're saying up the river was where that uh, abandoned school pro was or something, right? Yeah, something. I sure I wish I could. Have, yeah, but once again, this was this was this was all stories I heard before. Um, Tartaria, even totally. like, like yeah, even like like even like went into my ears. You know, this was all just like. This was just all like people talking, you know, pow yeah, this and lo local, talking. local yeah. legend. Oh yeah. So like, that's what, that's what makes it so interesting. Right. You know, is, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah. And then you have the, you have the fjord or the fort, right. Whatever you want to call it. It could be a fjord, right. This, this yeah, I mean, they have right lots here. of names for it. Yeah. But like, but see, if you, if you, if you come into Fort Bragg and you like, you look at, you look at like um, like how high those cliffs really are right there. You're just like you're like this is a fjord. Like people are like you know, and of course the settlement would the settlement going up into the going up into the river would be the settlement because that's where you'd actually really want to be if you were like you know like a mi a military version of totally. any society. You'd want to go up the river to fortify. And then this this would but once you felt really comfortable to build like a glass palace, no big deal, right? The biggest one with stained glass and totally. all that. You would just be chilling. You'd be chilling, chilling, you know? Yeah. So this was like this was like one of those things where I've always felt like Fort Bragg in the history of it's just strange. Mm -hmm. Um and the population doesn't make sense that people are just, oh, look at, and, and think about all the other places you'd be able to just to like throw your garbage. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> totally. In the middle, it really is like pretty in the middle of nowhere. Right. Or, or from, you know, like from what I, what I've always uh, come across here in this part is that people like will be excavating something or other like you know getting ready to do something like oh we're going to do some more property in over here and they oh like, oh dang look we we found the trash pile and they would bury they would bury their trash mm -hmm. you know totally i mean that's, that's standard, yeah. pretty standard yeah. and some of the stuff you know like you'd get like tin cans like and a lot of bottles yeah lots of glass like, glassware there yeah. was guys in sf in the 70s i think they started they were mm -hmm. like glass collector uh, nerd guys and they would go when the old buildings would get torn down they'd go and like just sift around through the dirt before they built the new one and find all kinds of crazy glass and artifacts and shit oh hell yeah dude. it's like a they time do, zine, do zines and shit it was like total yeah, it's a, it's a cool time weird little subculture hey we're gonna get cut off in like a minute Again, here dude? <laughs> yeah oh my god should we uh you want to keep going or uh, yeah, you let's, wanna, go. uh let's shoot uh, this shit some more. Let's uh okay. let's go from here. Let's go from here and like uh how much time we got left? Oh fuck. It's gonna turn we off like, like right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hit me back uh, yeah. and then let, uh, let's go to the Hudson Bay. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Let me do that. This meeting is being recorded. Thank you. Boom. Boom, 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 ba -da -boom, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so I think what, uh, overall. What do you say, yeah. Hudson Valley? Oh yeah, well. Hudson, what do you, what the, do you yeah, say? Uh, the the Hudson, it's a like uh, yeah, it's all the way on the east coast. 
Oh, the Hudson Bay. That's what he said. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, so weird. Should be right. Uh, Quebec. <laughs> Remember Quebec? Maybe. Quebec. Where is it going again? Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay. Yeah. Hudson Bay. Well, apparently, like, uh, you know, uh, as far as uh, the one of the things I find interesting about the Hudson Bay area is like that the gravity, you weigh less and the gravity is less in Hudson Bay. Is it? <laughs> yeah. You're, you didn't know. Uh, yeah. So, like, I don't know if I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, wild. What's the deal with that? Uh, pull, pull up some info about it. It's going to just be like, it's going to just be like light info. Yeah. I think it's more, I, of, I think it's more in on, uh, I was just tripping on uh, Fort Tilden. Have you, have you seen that one? Fort Tilden? Yeah, I haven't. No. no. What's the story, guys? <laughs> the three-part story. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what were we looking for again? Yeah, Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay gravity. Uh, oh yeah, Hudson Bay. Why am I looking on this? On this? No, uh, because nah, it's close. It's like up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. This is this is the kind of stuff that like always gets me. has less gravity. Oh, yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Move this fucking it's, it's thing like, around it's again. Kind of like, it's light reading. It's interesting. Yeah. Stuff. We'll see what all up. curly tails. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently way less. It's like, it's like some kind of... 5%. Oh, that's a moon thing. Oh, yeah. That's some made up, made up number about the moon. Yeah, figured. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the anti gravity area. Yeah. So you know, like the laws of Newton don't apply is what what makes it funny. Is that you like you know? Boom. You can walk around, and then all of a sudden, something like this is like, oh, don't talk too much about gravity being an imperfect. You know, totally. that's why. That's why the math of it, that's why the math is like, I guess, I don't even know what the reason being would make you less. I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know. Totally. They're basically, a, they're, they're claiming here that um, because during the ice age, um, this area was covered by this ice sheet, it fucking took away tons of rock when it melted. And mm. that's why uh, the gravity went away because the <laughs> the melted uh, ice sheet took away too much rock. Yeah, that sounds about as believable as Bruce Springsteen and the Nightcrawler. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. The Night Stalker, <laughs> the Nightcrawler. <laughs> the yeah. Nightcrawler, dude. Yeah, if that if that's true, then Bruce Springsteen and the Night Stalker fucking team up to write songs, you know? Yeah. Check this um, out. I believe that is an impact crater that really didn't completely hit the ground because so much ice on top. Sure. I mean, like, sure. That's about as who's that guy, Ryan or something or other? Sure. Yeah, totally. I mean I'm sure it is. I've thought for a while that maybe the Bay Area could possibly be a um here we go, bro. Here we go. Could be a crater. Yeah. Uh, pot. I mean, there it is. Hmm. And there's less less gr gravity. I mean, dude, that's fucking huge, man. It's yeah. pretty misleading that they call it a bay. I mean, yeah, it looks like a bigger than Texas. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if you know, back in the day, the water did go across, and like that was like this. 
possibly the straight. Oh yeah. That they were talking about. Everyone was trying to find. It's such a weird orientation there, like, right? Yeah. What's so, I mean, um, one of the things that just doesn't quite add up about like, you know, the whole Columbus thing and the whole narrative of them trying to find a way across this way, you know? Uh Uh-huh. But like, they could have just cruised here, cruised here, cruised here, cruised here, cruised here, right through here. You know what I mean? Well, there, there's like a... They, they never would have had to... They could have followed land the whole way from Western Europe. Just keep going north along Norway, Sweden, above Finland. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you're above Tartaria. And right come down and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you're on the west coast here like right right you know what but i mean that, yeah i mean i guess it's all full of ice or some bullshit i don't fucking know i could be talking sure. about my ass could be talking no, about my I mean, ass but no i mean i don't think it's i don't think it's that i mean it's not that far-fetched because you know there there are like uh tall tales and fables about like people that um that wanted to um, go north for for fishing. A father and his son, like these are these are all just weird tales, right? Mm-hmm. But they're told they're told where like you go into a place like say like Hudson Bay, you go north, you, you all of a sudden like say like you don't know who Sir Isaac Sir Isaac Newton is, right? Uh-huh. And you don't know anything about gravity except like you know what your your initial intuition tells you that like it's it's just pulling you straight to the center of the earth right that there's a center uh-huh. and that's what you know about gravity. gravitational you, pull but you know so you go north instead as fishing with your son let's go no one goes to these these places right mm-hmm. and then as you get to these places uh you find that time speeds up right this is actually this is actually like a like a tall tale slash like bedtime story type thing right and then they go into they go into like a place like say Hudson Bay going north. They don't know anything about gravity. Time speeds up. People like people are taller, bigger. Things are just mm-hmm. more massive. They're more giant. They're like they don't have the same the same issues that you would have with like gravity keeping you your spinal cord compressed, the weight. Um, and then you're in a, you're in an area like that, right? And so with some of these tall tales, these bedtime stories that you would talk about, like, that would be like stories of like Tartarian, like, uh, you know, the Jolly Green Giant type stuff, you know? Yeah. Or like maybe, maybe like Paul Bunyan was from a place where gravity just wasn't, wasn't like being applied like as yeah. a law, you know what I mean? Totally. And, uh, well, and just uh, became faster, yeah, yeah. time sped up. People were friendlier because let me just tell you, like if you don't have the same pain in your spine from like working because you're like in gravity that makes you feel lighter, <laughs> you're gonna be happier. You're gonna your totally. your, your life's your life's gonna be easier, right? It's gonna yeah, be like your party sciatic, life's gonna go, sciatica yeah. is not acting up. Yeah, yeah, you don't got sciatica happening. You you know you're you know you don't have gout. You don't have all the like you know the blood's pumping back up to your heart. You might you might actually live longer. These are all like tall tales that like actually might make sense if you allow yourself to believe whether you're talking out your ass, I don't think you are, but like you're in this like area where like exploring becomes like, like fundamental to where like, how do we get back, you know? And then it's just like the the end of this tall tale, I can't even remember it all the way, but the end of the tall tale is that like, as much as they felt like guests, like they knew they had to go back and they they actually had to ask like the uh, the the leader the giant leader when he was ready to like release him to go back and, and like and then they were afraid to ask him because they didn't speak the same they spoke in these different kind of like frequencies of course right mm-hmm. but before then the father went to go present like hey we we need to go back people are worried about us whoever he was going to ask to like get permission to go back already like knew 
like telepathically that like, oh, it is time for you to go back. And they just right. knew through this stuff. So play like, so like if, if we're, if we're talking about like gravity being like, like a constant thing, like through like these mathematical things, the moon being whatever it is, <laughs> say whatever, you know? Yeah, dude, nothing, nothing is solid. Is that what I'm trying to say? So like some of these tall right. tales really <laughs> make sense, but like if you, but if you apply like the Newton's law to it, then they can never like truly make sense, right? Right, They'll that's why be, they say it, how they exactly. define it as a myth or fucking fairy yeah, tale. They, they go, that doesn't tale. exist, gravity's con. So if you have that construct, yeah, then it's just like, then n- n- they're just tall tales. Totally. And that's why They're that's just, why I think it's so important to like study a place like Hudson Bay or at least have the knowledge that like in and it and apparently less gravity on earth isn't only in Hudson Bay. There's other places but to and I they just don't come to my head. I I think Yeah, totally. I think in Peru I, uh, mm-hmm. I think in Peru has a whole like a uh, a whole different idea of gravity. Which I don't even fully understand, to be honest with you, because I, yeah. I just, I just almost kind of just like that. The only thing that really makes sense is that like, is that like now the whatever mainstream. I don't even know if like what was the name of that site, Girly something, Girly Height. Which one? Yeah. Well, anyways, they're they're writing about it, and it's actually, you know, as far as like New York Times prints it, you know. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, yeah. that's like talking, about it. but. So that's why no- nothing's out of the the realm of like letting your mind go with it, you know. Totally, man. Letting your mind have that like ability to be like, oh, oh, okay, cool. They've been trying to silence like our imaginations, you know, yeah. into this into this yeah. rational, this rational nerdy right. world where, oh, that does not compute, you know. It's not good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, speaking of fucking imagination and shit. I've tripped on this because, um, you know, just looking at Google Earth, they have these lighter zones in the sea where clearly there's like, ri- you know, huge cliffs, underwater right. cliffs and ridges. Mm-hmm. Right. And like, you could, like, clearly fucking our continents here, North America and Asia and Europe, were all connected, dude. You know, oh, before that, before this, like, de- the, before this flood, before everything is all, you know, yeah. before whatever the, uh, flooded out this zone. But I mean, right. you could fall, you know, you could fall everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, there's much more land, even like you come over to like over here above Europe, like look at all this, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and just That's like what's just, under there. You know how many cities fucking are just buried under the sea? Well, it's kind of like the missing islands in the Pacific, right? That like are on on one map in the eighteen yeah. hundreds. Like we we're saying, they don't you don't screw up making a map. There's just there's no cutting corners, right? If you're totally. out there, your your whole idea. I, I mean, mean, that's what just, you're doing. Yeah, there's no screwing up. So it's like then they disappear, and they apparently there's there's been like seven islands that disappeared and they contributed to like the the water rising right oh yeah didn't you send uh yeah phantom island yeah, phantom island. yeah. so they contributed to like uh the 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 rising of the sea right okay right. yeah here's uh freeze land is a classic uh, okay. yeah. one of the classics yeah. lost islands yeah they don't screw up map making they yeah they usually don't well they they claim everything is fucking perfect until there's an anomaly and they're like uh, it's, then it's basically just like those guys are idiots are you they, know even though they're the same ahead. ones who are yeah. they were saying were perfect well they just go ahead and they, they just kind of go well let's just kind of group it into the narrative you know like yep. they don't they don't want to tell you they don't want to tell you this is what i get in the conversation with uh, 
when it comes to like global warming and things like this is that like yeah sure like the climate change right sure oh. it's, it's broad it's super broad and like i don't like litter more than the average person you know what i mean no totally you know? dude i throw shit in the fucking trash yeah you know and i i, I mean we've been recycling like, yeah, dude we've been recycling since we were kids exactly you know and that's so, yeah okay. we're, we're raised pretty you know like yeah you know something blows up the back of your truck you're just like uh you know this is the freeway so some dui fucking community service guy's gonna pick it up right you know but like <laughs> there's when it when it comes to that the narrative of like all oh, these islands like it's getting to the point where it's like it's a little crazy right that nothing else and yeah sure i'll i'll leave the door cracked for that idea right you know of course right Mm-hmm. But what I'm trying to say is that most people don't like understand that like the few degrees that we have risen have given humongous amounts of like grow periods so that like you can feed people, right? They're longer, it's warmer. You can have like longer grow periods. Totally. They can grow more, more shit. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Which would only like mentally make the people around you feel more fucking secure. Totally, man. Right. It's such a mind so, fuck how, how they exact, think it's a, like this crazy bad thing. Right. And the last time there was a global warming per se, whatever you want to call it, was like this time where people explored the earth and civilizations were able to like spread across like, like the first adventure. Yeah, like into Arizona and fucking. Right. Where well, they were adventurers. And Nevada. They actually, have, they actually have a term that's pretty, pretty cool. It's called the enlightenment mm-hmm. and and things were like to their own narrative things were being built cathedrals they had like longer longer builds and da, 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 da. what people don't understand is that like we might be in an enlightened era but the powers that be are making us believe that we're not because oh, all i know is this and this is the truest fact about climate change one way or another is that like if the earth cools down by two degrees the other way, we all die <laughs> and we die fucking fast, like through starvation, uh, shorter growth periods, uh, you uh, congestion of like lands, wars break out, the whole fucking thing. Because we're all we all can't live like in Bermuda, even though we want, even well, though that'd be the sickest. Well, totally. I mean, if it was a going. few degrees warmer, it would be. Yeah, we're go- we're going. Everyone's gonna rush to the equator, in in my thought, to like survive, and then it's gonna become a free for all, or or it becomes like a world trading organization, like Tartaria, totally, where like uh, you have, where where you have like a harm- have the- harmonic. Uh, vast civilization cooperating yeah. right. on grand, grand and local levels. But make no it's mistake, hard, it's hard to imagine. I know it's yeah. really hard to imagine that it's possible, but it fucking was. And we're in yeah. opposite world right now. Yeah. <laughs> so that, but that's that's my hypothesis. Like, if it cools down, we all die. There's no like, you know what I mean? It's like we're all dead. There's no way to heat. There's no way to get the heat. There's no way to, you know what I mean? Yeah, There's no way to totally. survive it. Like, it, just because, and that's that's the upside down world that like, mm-hmm. I kind of go, fuck, man. Like, you know, it would be nice if we could just like take the rivers that we have right now and kind of just clean them up, you know? And then we just go out to that cyclone area out in the middle of the Pacific where all the trash is spinning around and you can just like yeah. walk along it yeah. and just kind of like scoop up the trash. Right. And we're all good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. We right? just scoop it up. We're like, to give me like six months beyond a boat. Like, you know, as a as a world citizen, you're gonna have to participate in cleanup. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Get me out there. I'll do some scooping. We'll get it. Yeah, why we'll not? Go through, we'll go throw it. We'll we'll get. What are we gonna do with all the trash? We just go throw all the trash in a volcano. We'll pick one out there in the middle of the Pacific, and we just scoop it up. We we'll take a couple wheelbarrows, and we just like, you know, it might take years, but dude, hey. It's better It'll than be being gone. On the yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's getting than, bigger. Yeah. It's better than like, you know, like, you know. Why don't they use time. the volcanoes as garbage dumps, dude? Dude. And 
and you think that's a wild idea, right? Because like <laughs> most people think that's a wild, but they're it makes literally fucking perfect sense. But if you look up right now, it's like there are people working on the idea of throwing garbage in volcanoes because they don't know what to do with it, dude. Yeah. And there's like there's more than there's more than just like a a cockeyed maniac like me saying, why don't we just throw it in a freaking volcano? Yeah, I mean, people I mean, that are like way smarter than me want to use volcanoes as incinerators to get rid of fucking trash. Right. And it, it makes all the are, Yeah. Big time. Yeah. And it's like you could you put it in shipping your... container, like put it in shipping containers and just like drop them in the fucking thing. They wouldn't even burn. There wouldn't be even be fucking smoke or burn or anything. They you know? they make it <laughs> illegal. <laughs> It's illegal to like, like uh, uh, there are some cultures that do that, right? They just go, oh, what right. are we going to do with this? We're going to take it up to, we're going to take it up the hill and then dump it in the first lava pit we see. Oh, that's a, you know, to me, what a brilliant idea, you know, all good. We'll throw it in the lava pit because if like the way lava works is uh, it's pretty molten and there's like <laughs> updrafts and downdrafts and they talk about like, you know, and that's a perfect solution. I mean, it's what do you you're gonna scoop all that up and then like what make a couple fucking bags out of it? You know what I mean? It's just it's it's yeah. wild, right? Totally. The solution the solution is there. It's just time. wild. Wild. Man. Yeah. Any, anything's better than throwing it into the freaking ocean. That's probably totally. like you know what I mean? Or the tar Plastic. pits. <laughs> throw, I mean, you know, they just throw, throw back all the this yeah. shit in the floor. They just threw it all in the tar pits. Now they're finding it all. Wow. <laughs> Look yeah. at all I don't creature, yeah. you know. Yeah, just keep on throwing in the ocean, right. and like, which makes no sense. But these are like the harebrained ideas, right? Big time. But that, like, you, it's funny you know, when you find out that the harebrained idea is actually people. People are trying know, to figure it out. Trying to figure it out. What do we do? Get an escalator to get up there? No, just fucking just as a human citizen, if you want, you know, just put a backpack on and just like take a couple bags of trash up there and just toss them in there and just you know whatever make it a religious experience i don't know i mean they built they built the chicago world's fair and fucking oh just to tear it down six months six months just to tear it down in a year so don't tell me we can't just go fucking throw up all our garbage (laughs) in a fucking volcano dude don't tell me it's too hard yeah I'm, i'm it's just like you know that's the that's the kind of wild the wild ideas out there but like like i said like just like the the portholes of like Aptos, it's exactly like I said. It's like you'll think that this is a wild idea that you're just kind of like writing to make someone laugh about. And then all of a sudden, like you know, I'll be working for someone or something like that, and we'll just be getting into a conversation. Hey, what do you do, man? And he'll be like, oh, this and that. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. And then all of a sudden, like I'll I'll, be, I'll tell him the wild idea about volcanoes being trash compactors, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm a guy that wrote my dissertation on that. <laughs> and you'll be like well no uh-huh. way like, he's like, yeah he's like, how do you know about that and you're like oh because i'm i guess like think about it you know if because like if you just like think of, like if you just think about it for half a second yeah then if you think about any of this stuff for half a second and then you go oh yeah it could be there could be more land past antarctica right <laughs> you know it's an ice wall. It it only makes sense in like, like HBO like fantasy fucking stuff, you know. But no, it's just, yeah. It just blows me away. Totally. Oh, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna jump off for a second, real quick. All right. Delete. Recall. Okay. This meeting is being recorded. Okay. You know, just uh for uh okay, no, never mind. Yeah, what go, go say? for it. Yeah. No, no, no. What was I was just okay, gonna say so, it. <laughs> Fucking, we're retarded right so, now. As far as all the wild, crazy ideas, like the volcano is a trash compactor. Like, here's one for you. Now, uh-huh. if you pull up that article that I sent you. About the Jeffrey Epstein thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, check it out. Yeah, look at this for a second, then we'll just pull it up. From 2022. 
Yeah. So this is like really going on, right? It's like, and they, they, they preface it with like, oh, curious kids. Like, like, like a dumb kid had a fuck. Like, a, yeah. Like a, like a like, like a it's freshman. a fucking stupid question. Oh, look at how look how silly this child is. He's just a dingbat, you know. But cute, you know. Well, the idea is what, right? Two thousand degree Fahrenheit. All this wild stuff. And, and it, as far as like, okay, this this makes sense, right? We all kind of say, oh, that kind of makes sense. What about what about the air pollution? Well, you know, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> you know so I, was, I was reading this shit. Yeah. It's basically fucking, so far, it's basically just saying that some, vol- you can't because some volcanoes burn hotter than others without answering that, like, well, let's just throw it in the ones that are hot enough, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Or okay. Yeah, we get it. Okay, we get it. We can't throw them in every single volcano. Yeah. <laughs> Let's throw them in the ones that you can throw it in. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like oh oh what a, oh dude since we can't do oh, it to see, every volcano oh there's not see there's not many on Earth that have lava lakes or bowl like craters of lava. Okay, fine. Well, just there's there are a few then fucking throw them in those. Yeah, uh, no, dude. Case, let's just let's just go ahead and keep on throwing in the ocean, you know. Mm-hmm. That because <laughs> that's that, that's that's a better idea. Totally. Oh, it'd be, so, it'd, it'd be a very yeah. dangerous job too. Like that's well, ever stopped them. But like, let's go ahead and see what like a crazy, like high, uh, profiled, like person in society thinks of what a good idea is. I mean, if you pull up that Jeffrey Epstein article that i sent you about him oh, yeah. wanting to like, like you know like jeffrey i've seen dna um Uh-oh. something like that you just pull it up dude i, I lost my uh lost your i can't mind. look i can't look at it uh, uh reopen it there it is oh. They won't allow you. Now I must have reached my limit of free articles. All right. Probably from looking at it like fucking two other times. Well, it would just be better to read an article. You know, this is what him, that Jeffrey Epstein guy, thinks a good idea would be. You uh-huh. know what I mean? And then he has backers, and we all know who backed him, right? Yeah, read the thing. Or can you yeah. read it on, on yours? Oh, yeah, okay. Let me look at it real quick. All right. Oh, I sent it to you. Let me see. Oh, here it is. So this is what somebody in society... Oh, it did the same thing to me, dude. God dang it. <laughs> well, I'll just, I'll just read the headline. And that's and then uh, anybody interested could go look at it. Jeffrey Epstein hoped to see the human race with his DNA. Uh and this guy was uh, taken pretty serious. What a weirdo. I wonder, I wonder how they figured to do it. You know? Mm-hmm. So, and that's New York Times. So as far as like a curious kids go, I'd rather just be like, yeah, volcanoes are trash compactors. We should go. <laughs> instead of like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like instead of seeding the whole fucking world with like some piss ants fucking DNA, you know what I mean? Big time. That's all I'm saying. Like that, the, there's wild ideas, right? Big time. So, and this is pretty wild, you know. Yeah, one um, one is actually a our super... wild idea is way better. Our wild idea would actually save the world. Or like you know, and these retards not minds, be so selfish, way. right? It would totally. be, you know, which is like this legit good thing to do, I suppose. But yeah, and like that's you know. But how does this all tie back in, right? You know, how does it all tie back? Oh, there. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, whoever's interested in should read it because you, you'll see the timeline compared to like uh, yeah, eugenic three years ago. Three, and then the, the article, I mean, maybe even if you don't want to go there, there's more articles, but like, but that's the one. And so that's all the tie it all back in. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 
kombucha makes me burp. Oh yeah, you got a hard a hard kombucha. No, no, I'm just going with the trilogy. The trilogy, I like it for some reason. How's I thought I had that? had some eugenics uh, ex exposition. Uh, yeah, but hard kombuchas are rad, dude. You can, like, bring them to work and no one even thinks anything different. They're like, oh, we drink them. Ah, kombucha. <laughs> it's like 7.5. <laughs> You're like, oh, wow. It's getting me through the afternoon. Where was I? Where was I? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, I was, I was talking to someone about the volcano and the pinnacles, too. Uh -huh. uh, and he was convinced of, like one of the other so i guess there's like three peaks that blew up it was like it was the pinnacle one the one that i told you about 145 miles southeast and then he was 100 percent convinced that like the other there was a third peak on the pinnacles that is in san diego so even with that like land flip that i was talking about uh he was like he was like absolutely convinced like yeah so oh, it's a, there's another peak in San Diego that's from the Pinnacle. So I was just like, wow, that makes huh. that makes my theory even that even matches a little bit more. It it even matches. Uh, he just says it's from the same area, which makes makes it even like crazier. Hmm. So that volcano couldn't even, could have started like even further south. Yeah, like let's see if I can pull could it have started in, that volcano could have been in Baja. And screwed everything up, you know. To be honest with you about that, dude. I don't know what's going on with this fucking search engine tonight. It's not working. You got a lot of windows open, huh? How many you got? Like fifty? Uh, no, there's just a few. Yeah. Or pop up, maybe. Yeah, I, I think California. California is the wildest uh, of it all because it's almost like. It's almost like recent history slash like ancient history, you know, mm -hmm. so many, so many cultures, like the East coast, like has like, you know, the five tribes, um, in the, uh, and, uh, you know, the, uh, the Confederate like framework and shit like that, which were like in, from my understanding, like that was preceded like the declaration of independence all that stuff to the point where like you have like a lot of different cultures on the west coast uh the spanish uh the russians tartaria chinese japanese yeah um, and then even like all the polynesian uh, mayan aztec yes 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 it was you know. like it was like if you consider like if you consider it being like the first like the Mayans and all that were like the furthest away from any European ideas of Christianity whatsoever, mm -hmm. you know, any of that, any of their bullshit that, you know, and a lot of people like think the uh, the Egyptian pyramids are like super spectacular, but like it's just like man, for my money, the the pyramids that in you know, Mexico and anywhere else, they, they're like designed spectacularly. You know, there's like no question. Like to, me, it's like, to me, there's like no question what they were there for. <laughs> you know, like the, the Egyptian ones, you're like, all, oh, they like, they, they line up with like Orion's belt and, you know, people do calculations where it's like, you know, the Graham Hancocks will do calculations where it's like it measures around the earth perfectly. This is all, th yeah. this stuff can be magic like with math, like the different ones, I'll give them that. But like when you get to like the South American pyramids and the, the civilizations down there, it's recent. It's recent, yep. man. You know, yep. and like the way their, their calendars and their language and the way that they fold around with sound and the way that they fold around with like psychedelics and, you know, and I'm not even quite, and as far as like human sacrifice, sure, why not? I mean, like, they might have. I mean, they could have had like ideas in their heads that like drove them wild to like sacrifice humans for like certain spiritual beliefs, you know? Uh, yeah, I think that's just all part of the whole savage high narr narrative. Yeah. I, I doubt that shit happened. I, it was probably the fucking 
the colonials who are the ones doing all the beheadings on the top of the pyramids, you know? Right. Yeah, it was yeah. all the it was all the colonists, all the freaking right. uh conquistadors or whatever whatever they yeah. are called in, in the his story. Yeah, so I mean I am it could be possible. I don't know. Human sacrifice is a thing, I guess. I mean, even today, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it, it is a thing. I, I, I think that the people who took it over are very yeah. fond of it. Are very fond of it. Right. Right. No doubt. What's that lake? The uh, Salton Sea. A uh, Salton Sea. Yeah. A the sea big, filled the with big salt. Footprint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. I need to see that thing. That's like Southern California. I haven't explored as much as Northern. Same. I haven't really messed around out here too much. Yeah. Mecca. It seems all the, yeah, interesting. Like, uh, you ever see, uh, the, the, have you ever scoped the glaciers in Trinity Alps? No. There's still glaciers, There's still glaciers in California. They have like some report that they're like receding really Wait, far. I thought they were falling off into the sea. Yeah. I mean the um when you see a glacier, it's it's fantastic though. Like if you're cruising through uh Canada or something like that and you see a glacier, it's pretty well, you're like, whoa. Yeah, At least I get that I get that wild feeling when I see a glacier. Trinity's up. Over here. Oh, it's it's, a, it's it's over on the west coast right there, like of the Central Valley. It's like Mendocino right there, like Shasta. Yeah, yeah if you just type in like uh, Trinity Alps Glacier. The shit ain't fucking. There it is. For some reason, the shit ain't uh, loading up. Yeah, but here it is. Yeah, I fucking found it. Yeah. It's not much of a glacier anymore, but it's pretty fucking rad. I I don't think I've ever been been over here. I've only I've never gone up into the area as much. I I did a lot of I did a lot of stuff in Igo Ono, the Indian Reservation, and uh, Redding, California. There's Trinity mm-hmm. Lake. Those lakes are far reason, bro. I mean, uh, that's just straight ice water. Yeah. They're, you know, you got Burning Falls. There's, look at that freaking Mount Shasta. Dude. Look at that, yeah. dude. And then you got the the Lemarian Beliefs, you know, right there. Yeah. Wow, Tel- man. Telos, uh, the city of Telos is under here. Yeah. There's a ski resort over there on that on that mountain, too. I've been to snowboarded it, brah. Yeah, I've, I've, I've yeah. haven't been, ever gone up the mountain yeah. But I, I've got, I've stayed in Shasta City a handful of times. I don't know if they, they still have it there, but it, it was fun for what it was. I just had no idea it was there when I was living up in that area. We went there. It was fun. I mean, if you're living up in Redding, you got to kind of like, you kind of have to like look for your fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, for yeah. sure. You know. And here's the uh, castle crags. Wow, look at those. Those are, those are like, man. There's a cu- there's a couple freaking other like, uh, lakes up there that are pretty fucking cool, man. Look at that big into the tunnel right there. See that in the front? Where? Right here. Yeah. Where this thing? Craig Dome, yeah. Look at that thing. Yeah. Looks like a tunnel. Yeah, you could see this. Yeah, from, you can see Wild. it from the highway. I forget mm-hmm. where five. Where yeah, you see from the five, and there's like a parking lot and shit. You can hike mm-hmm. up there. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple legs up so, there that are just like they're I don't know they're fun. There's a couple legs up there. You get Ca- oh, is that Castle, Castle Lake? Lake. Yeah. Oh Have yeah. You been up there? Yeah, I've swam in that one. Oh yeah, it's sick. Oh yeah. It's pretty cool. Freezing, dude. Like, I'm talking, like, it's kind of shallow, then it kind of goes out. Uh, but it's for freezing, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Note is I can't remember what part of the year I went there. Yeah, look at that. Just fucking for yep. It's freezing, man. Yeah, it looks Oof. that looks like it's cold. Yeah. I mean yeah. Ta- Lake Tahoe is insanely cold. Yeah. Hi guys. Cool. Hi, hi random people. You're on I know. you're on Google Earth. Do you know that? You did. <laughs> family off your thing. Yeah. <laughs> They're the probably the ones that yeah, this place is cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wonder why do you know why it's called uh Castle Castle Lake? I mean it's like you know, you have Castle Rock in Santa Cruz. Yeah, it's Castle probably Rock. these rock formations. All this all this uh, geology up here is like uh, fuck, oh, it's like a drone pick or some shit. That's All this rad. geology is like uh, melted buildings person's wet dream up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's it's, uh, it's volcanic up there. I mean, it's kind of hard to like that kind of stuff, though. I mean, this has got to be a volcano, I bet. Yeah. Or like you, you know, think? like some kind of volcano. Yeah, I think they might. There might be something to it. There's a church up there. Yeah, it's just a Methodist. Uh, Obvious. That's got to get everywhere. United Methodist. I think one of the first, uh, you know, like the Mason chapters and all that shit is like maybe in Lassen or some shit. Oh, Lassen's amazing, man. Yeah, dude. Like that's what the up in the up in Reading, it's like one of the selling points of buying one of those like big mansions. It's like, oh, you got a view of Lassen. You're like, oh, dude, we got a view of La-, you know. Yeah. We got a view of Lassen. No kidding. Oh man, like the, that's a big selling point. Where is Reading down here? Uh, uh further. Look how they just flooded this whole. Pretty all amazing. These, huh? All these valleys to create this lake. There's her, there's humongous stalactite. Am I, if I'm pronouncing it, like caves there. Uh, and uh, you used to be able to canoe into them. I think they might have closed them off. They have a real drought up there with that water being like. I, but it's 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 funny. Like one year they'll like they'll say that they're gonna build the dam 600 feet higher. The next is like. The dam is down like millions and billions and trillions of gallons. It's just, I don't know what they're thinking. You know what I mean? And, and not only, not it's only, crazy. yeah. And not only that, they, they have like a real uh, political problem with like it being like a, a real succession from the United States, anyways, up there with like uh, the state of Jefferson, which is interesting. You ever get yeah, through that's, that? That's really cool. I have, yeah. it's been years. Since I got into it, yeah, Duns Dunsmere, um used to be the first. Oh, look at that! That's cool. Look at yeah, that. taking a shot, shot at that. Yeah. yeah. Right now, you put that on Craig's or uh, Facebook Marketplace, dude. So you probably get like eleven grand for it, dude. Totally easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah. No rust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This place is tight. Looking never, for a project? I've never known about this place. Oh, what's that? This oh, is that's cool. Shasta, the Shasta Mines. What? Of course. Of course. Yeah, of course they were mining. Built like it. a castle. They were mining the fucking city of uh, the Lemurian cities. Oh, well, there's, yeah, there's, you know, like the thing is, is that like, you know, if you kind of like, if you follow like the tradition of like, places and volcanoes anyways they were they were such like hot spots for like cities to be built up but then they just become buried right a minute they like explode look at that yeah look at that it's pretty wow wow sketch huh yeah holy shit Was that up or down? <laughs> mm. I get claustrophobic and stuff like that. Big time. Oh, man, you know, like, oh, like you mean the UCSC like tunnels? Totally. I was just, I watched a video on those not too long ago. 
And I just remembered as a kid going in there um, with my dad and it, and it smelled like weed, but at the time I didn't actually know it was, I didn't know it oh, was yeah. weed because I was like a kid kid. Yeah. But then like, all, so I remember that clearly. And I remember older being like, oh shit, that's what was, that's why the cave smelled like that. But also oh, yeah. the other thing was that it got so tight in there. I was like, I'm not into this. I'm not. Yeah, and I, it really, <laughs> you got to be kind of like a real daredevil to do that. Especially, uh, I know that like, uh, I know that they say those tunnels go all the way down to Davenport. And like, uh, some people probably actually freaking made it, dude, to be honest with you. They're like endless totally. there. But Davenport, <laughs> itself, Davenport itself has tunnels all over it, you know? Which is wild but yeah like you know all that patterns what the fuck am i doing well they say uh they say that mountain range out there lassen is like the oldest mountain range in the world oh yeah really you know that shit? i haven't i just didn't know that yeah this is tight wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's the Shasta. Is that Shasta yeah. stuff? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Isn't that wild? Yeah, I never gone in this. These I no, is I'm, this the ones that this ones that Zertus went into on that vice thing? Didn't oh, they really? go in, go into these? I thought those? they did Lassen. Oh, did they do Lassen? Yeah, I Yeah, but I think that. the the Shasta ones you have to canoe to now. You have to like a uh, kayak out to them or something like that. Oh shit, dude! Look at that. Look at that stalactite. Is that what it's called? Yes, it's stalactite. Or stalagmite is one of them. Oh, too. stalagmite. Yeah, yeah. But wow, look at that, dude! Crystals. You know, maybe you like lick them to stay alive if you need to go down there. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> you I come mean, out like fucking Superman, freaking Chud. You're like. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking the toxic My Avenger. The Quartz Avenger. Well, look at all that. Huh. Interesting. Pretty small. Yeah, but it's, it's still radical. Yeah, that, no, I'm dude. just kidding. Oh, that was a joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like they were like, they were, it was almost like they were like, they, they were, they looked like they were liquid at one time, right? Totally, like a book in it just um, just got frozen into stone. Mm -hmm. And then you have that, like, okay. and then you have that Hearst Castle thing up there. Yeah, and that um, I was gonna book and search it, but uh, I was having troubles on this fucking thing. Maybe it was because you opened up those photos, that photo, of... the Epstein thing, the yeah. thing that you sent. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, sorry for the. Let virus. me find. Uh, let me find this one thing and see if we can pull it up real quick before we get. Uh, I posted about it a little bit ago. Uh, okay, my phone's about to die. The uh, the devil's post pile. All right. It's at Mammoth. You ever go down to Mammoth much? Oh. Uh, no. Me neither. I never fucked yeah. around down there, but it fucking seems like there's a lot of cool shit down there. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Dude, it's your it's fucking Crowley Lake. I know, hi. So there's Crowley. this, they, dude, they have this shit here. Yeah. Which is like fucking, uh, you know, it looks like fucking some columns whatever yeah. but that's cool i didn't know they had, like didn't know this stuff existed in california mm -hmm. and then they have the basalt columns too mm -hmm. or what they say is the basalt columns like the giant's causeway or whatever mm -hmm. um the devil's post pile oh, yeah. i think they also have they also have caves and it was like in a triple a like road magazine uh -huh. And I guess it's a day trip that's pretty cool. You know, some of that sometimes those like AAA road magazines are like interesting. They'll like they'll they'll lead you on a pretty good adventure. You know, 
I mean, there's, they definitely, they definitely put you on some cool back road stuff that like you don't, yeah. you don't see, and that's where all the, that's where all the fucking yeah. bread and butter is, dude. You know? Oh yeah. That's where oh, you yeah. find all the stuff, and that's how I know like a lot of this stuff is like legit because I see it in these small towns in the oh, middle yeah, of nowhere. Yeah. You know, it's not just San Francisco and fucking yeah. New York. And, where they just they just made living easy just a little too hard, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> instead of like just going down to the store to get like chili beans, you have to like drive like fifty miles, you know. Wow, look at that. That's tight. What is that? The Enyo Craters. This is a let's say something hit it from space. It says I jumped off before. Look at I'll wrap the disco on this fucking site. What was I saying? Oh, the devil's post pile. Yeah. You know where I've spent some time that's like interesting is like out toward I know nothing's showing up. Like no. uh is uh out toward uh Comanche Lake. It's like past uh, Manteca. Uh, that zone. Oh yeah. And if you keep on going, you end up like you end up like uh, I think Strawberry, and Strawberry is really cool because they have all a bunch of it's like federal land. There's no one that patrols it, so you just go to a gate that's open. You open it, and then you just drive down these ways all the way down to the Yuba River, and it's huh. like you just pick it. But it's kind of like it's one of those places that, like, you know, you have to get used to because you're I'm out gonna, there. Uh, I'm going to look mm -hmm. it up real quick. I, I was hoping to uh, find this spot real quick. I mean, Manteca is not that far from uh, where I'm at. What, from Crowley Lake? No. No, from, uh, no, from me right now. From oh, Oakland. okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you just jump on the 505, right? Um, or the Walnut Creek Express the, uh, or something. Five eighty, five eighty. Oh, five eighty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Over the fucking uh. Dang. Altamont. Right. There's so much stuff out there. Just past like a day trip. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me go back. Let me go up there. So you said. Here's Manteca. Like near Manteca or past it? Oh, well, it would say Comanche Lake. Up oh, Comanche Lake. Cove. Yeah. Oh, yeah, down here. This spot. Yeah. Lake Tulak? No, yeah. you said Comanche. That might be it back there. Or is it up here? Oh, that's near Malonis. Oh, it's past it. Past that? Yeah, I think so. Whatever. This, oh, that's Pedro. Well, this is a uh, this is where they say all that like uh, this is that like whole like you can find gold in the rivers back there, but you got to like right. fight people off and shit, you know. Totally. That one guy was oh, there's Bear Valley, yeah. Well, yeah, you have to crawl on rocks, and there's just like Lake Tahoe, yeah, Lake Tahoe. Wow. Read the read the origins of Lake Tahoe, dude. Yeah, I will. Um. Fucking the Kit Carson spot here is a trip right on Silver Lake. Have you been there? No, I've wanted to get up to these spots that I haven't really like. I've only just started paying attention to them, you know. A lot of oh, this right. stuff you can't even get to in the winter time. No, like, it's like roads closed and shit. You you, you wouldn't even want to do it. I mean, we were kids. Um, I remember my <clears throat> Valiant that I used to have. Yeah, dude. One time we took it fucking bald tires you know and all up to go snowboarding and stuff it was like so dumb. we were driving like five miles per hour along those like ridges dude just like all over the road and just like all the locals hated us man they were just like oh get the fuck out <laughs> they were like we had to drive so slow bald tires dude i mean like wires coming out of it dude yeah that's awesome but that's but that's how dude we you know that's how you had to do it back then oh big time 
the spot's cool, Lake Alpine. <laughs> like, you know, it was like having like our own personal Hanukkah driving on E. <laughs> just that <laughs> fucking. I can't, I can't believe we've driven 20 miles on back. E. <laughs> yeah, just coasting down the mountain. Yeah, it's a Hanukkah miracle. So much snow. I forget what we were uh, looking at. Uh, we were looking for Comanche, but I think we lost oh, yeah. it. <laughs> we lost it. We lost it. Right past Manchuga. This, shit, this shit's about to stop. Uh, about oh, to it cut is? us off again anyways. All right. We got oh, eight minutes. Yeah. All good. You know. What were, no, uh, no. yeah. yeah. Dude, Look there's so many, water. so many up here. That's wild. They're trying, you know, they're trying to manage it. They're just, they're, it's just not, you know, they're trying to, but it's just, I don't know what for, you know, you got like, you know, Mulholland's idea of managing the water, right? Yeah. The whole like fucking thing. That, you know, that, and that was just a guy. I don't, I, dude, I don't even think Mulholland graduated junior high, dude. Mm-hmm. you know what i mean and his, just, his story and that and the water for la is such a trip no dude i just i just don't even think he had like he was just a wild motherfucker dude like he was just like i, I mean fuck i don't think he I, I don't think he graduated high school at least you know i think i don't know the stuff i don't even want to look it up i hate looking up shit <laughs> I was trying to look around for fucking highway. 49. Oh, there's strawberry. There's strawberry. Look at. Is that is that what we were looking for? Yeah, that place is real cool. Oh yeah. Like, if you go like, if you go down there. I think that's the Yuba River or something, some kind of river down there. And strawberry is wild, man. Like they have like a lot of ooh, this. Like, leaf. Ooh la la, bra. Strawberry. Yeah, you're yeah. out there in strawberry, man. Like they have all this federal land. You just you just pick a fire road and you go. Do a little uh, boondocking. Yeah, you just go down one of those roads and you just, you know, you get down there and there's people partying there all the time, you know. Pyramid Peak. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> there it is. The old pyramid. Oh, fuck. There we go. Damn, that's pretty big. It's so funny it's how many mountains and shit are called like pyramid or whatever. Yeah. And then people are like, "You're freaking crazy! That's not a, a pyramid." Like, well, they okay. don't. It's just like you know, it's like you got the mound builders of North America. I mean, that's the crystal like, range. They can't even like. They can't even like. They're. I mean, I, I'm sure that they've tried and tried and tried and tried to like bury the like true history of the mound builders and it just keeps on popping oh, up like it haunts, it haunts them <laughs> no what are you talking about mound builders man there wasn't anybody here worth fucking their weight and salt more uh history of lake tahoe oh yeah well let's finish on that and we'll that'll be yeah. we'll We'll start it on the next one, I guess. Right, yeah. Let's see. This definitely uh, John Fremont has something to do with it, doesn't he? I don't know. Like, all I know is yeah, see, a... John Fremont found Lake Tahoe in 1844. So oh, the story wonderful. goes. He found it. Yeah. Imagine founder. being that guy. Yeah. <laughs> True founder. Finder keepers, dude. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. Indians take a hike. Um, decided to make his west. He came west a bunch of times. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm surprised it didn't say he came there in the snow first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was like, he was checking in on the Donner Party, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's bringing. He's gonna bring him supplies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <Lake> yeah. Tahoe. <laughs> 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 oh 
Ah, that's funny. Um, so yeah, some silver struck in Virginia City, which is a Comstock load. Mm. And uh, they start cutting down all the trees. And so oh, then, and then, it, then it just goes into like, oh, Frank Sinatra too, you know? Yeah. And so, yeah, that's in 1860s. And then it jumps to car cruise through in 1905. Yeah. And then uh, 60 years later, we got <laughs> the yeah. Brat Pack oh, you know, uh, playing at the casinos. Let's give them some. Let's give them something they'd like. Let's give them all blue eyes, you know. Yeah, extreme. Blue water, blue eyes. Hell yeah. Uh, Lake Tahoe right, is a trip. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I like I like Lake Tahoe. It, it is really pretty, but you know they have like a, uh, topography there where like you know you look at it. They call it like bell like a bell tower, and you know. Totally same <laughs> same amazing. kind of things yeah and one of the few lakes actual real lakes that, in california that is, too that is definitely <laughs> a fucking real lake bro yeah there's all the stories about people finding bo bodies uh oh, really have you heard about those where oh uh, the like, lakes had dried up outside of vegas no no here in tahoe like oh really someone will have uh someone who's drowned in lake tahoe and their body shows up in one of these um uh, oh, reservoirs yeah. or or one you know one of these uh subsidiaries lakes beneath it yeah like under underground obviously you know oh wow <laughs> man yeah that's one of the weird little uh well they say little underwater myths. underwater is the portals of all things right that's why you transform totally <laughs> there's a lot to God. it that's hard to get down there yeah it's pretty I mean, it's pretty fun lake though yeah it's you awesome get, you get a sea do you rent a sea do for an afternoon you're just you're loving it dude yeah i had family in uh my uh grandparents lived in tahoma all right and so dude, i used to go up here a couple times a year it was awesome yeah he was a butcher at the uh deli at the yeah, market in, huh? oh is that where your dad's from no, no, the they, they it's from my dad's side. They had just his parents had moved out there. Oh for wow. Man. Reason. Yeah. She has a crazy story, or he has a crazy story. He he never knew who his dad was, you know, until he did all this like ancestry.com finally tracked down. Because mm -hmm. according to like his mom, she basically just like left uh Pennsylvania like after he was born. And started a new life in California, mm. and um, as now I, I definitely I think she was probably saving his trying to save his ass from the fucking getting sent on the orphan train somewhere, do some child labor, or, you oh, know, she, because yeah. like he, maybe he was you know she, he was born to some book like, out of wedlock to whoever you know, or maybe she was some dude's mistress or whatever you know. I don't know. It's just funny. Yeah, man. Like, like funny, funny to rethink about these things. Well, well, considering Pennsylvania, right? And like hell. Oh, big time. Yo, okay, man. The countdown. Okay. Hey, man. It was oh, good yeah. talking uh, to you. Yeah, yeah. Dude, uh, this was awesome. Epic. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Oh, yeah. All right, bro. See ya. Oh, yeah. See ya.